A major financial boost for SEPTA, the transit agency receiving the largest single infrastructure grant in its history. Our Shana Ferreira explains where all the millions will go. Well, SEPTA received a massive $80 million check today with the goal of upgrading its facilities and its buses with the eventual goal of becoming a zero emission fleet. Big money heading to SEPTA. With that in mind, we are here to announce $80 million on grants to SEPTA. Money said to modernize SEPTA buses and maintenance facilities as we know it. One of the most effective ways to lower emissions is through electrification. This new grant awarded to SEPTA as part of a $1.7 billion bipartisan infrastructure plan signed into law by President Biden. The federal funds are being allocated to modernize transit systems nationwide. Over 100 projects in 46 states are receiving the grant. For SEPTA here in the Delaware Valley, it means big investments are now underway, including upgrades to six bus districts including Frankfurt, Germantown and Upper Darby. The grant will also fund the installation of safety systems, power feeds and fire suppression systems that would support clean energy buses. Strengthening SEPTA's system and reducing emissions in the region will doubly advance our local goals to combat climate change at every level of government. In addition to the upgrades to the bus districts which house two-thirds of SEPTA's fleet, the grant will also help SEPTA build and deploy new low to no emission buses. Some riders say the news is music to their ears. I actually think the new investment is great. Um, a lot of people like myself commute to work every day. I think anything green is good. But other riders say while they're happy about the funding for upgrades to SEPTA, public safety remains a top issue. They should use that money towards getting more police officers. I mean, spending on public safety. It's not clean. It's unsanitary. They have to clean that up first. So the funding today was announced by Senators Bob Casey and John Fetterman, who say that SEPTA is a key part of Pennsylvania's transit system. In the aftermath of the I-95 collapse, they say investing in a key transit system is more timely and necessary than ever. Shana Ferreira, Fox 29 News.